Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Coins. In this video, I would like to share some tips and like to educate my friends who are planning to apply for a study permit and a spouse work permit along with that, like a combined application, both applications submitted together. So the primary applicant and the dependent will be submitting for uh, visa processing and permit processing together. So this video will be having some tips as well as uh, the documents you guys have to be ready with while you are planning to submit this application. Before going deep into the video, let me give a few a recap or the current situation what we are having in our PR processing. The express entry through foreign skill worker class has been delayed. In 2020, the last draw for foreign skill workers happened in 2020 December and after that until now, in 2021, there are no more draws. So this leave families and people who are planning for a Canadian immigration with a dead end. There is no other opportunities what they have. So people are looking for different ways which they can achieve this Canadian dream. There is always a ray of hope for individuals couples and family for Canadian immigration that is a student permit how it works is they combine the application so that now a student permit will be combined with a spouse work permit application as well as a child visa as well so let's uh, let me take you through how it works uh, so the normal student permit, how it works is a student uh, goes to an agent uh, with all the documents and IELTS and academic IELTS. Agent in turn submits an application to a college in Canada and the college send back an offer once everything is good and it's accepted. So the student receives a letter of acceptance from a Canadian college and the agent processes or submits a visa as a representative to IRCC. So this is the normal student permit application, how it works. But in the case of combined application, when you have a dependent like a spouse and a child, the process will be all the same until you get the offer letter. But uh, when the agent submits, prepares the application, so it should be a student's application, spouse application and the child application, all combined in a bundle package in a single, like a principal applicant and a dependent and the application will be submitted for visa processing if you are a resident of the countries listed below starting from bermuda brazil china colombia costa rica india you are eligible to apply the student permit or a student visa under a student direct stream let's see what is the speciality for this stream so as per this this document it stay it says the processing time is 20 calendar days. IRCC processes most of the STS application within 20 calendar days. So it's a faster stream to get a student permit. Let's see what's the eligibility criteria you should have to be uh, to qualify for the stream. So the first one is a proof of language a test result with a score of six and above for all uh, the sections that is listening, reading, writing and speaking. So once you have that, you are good with that. And the next one will be the proof of a guaranteed investment certificate that is a GIC of Canadian dollars 10,000 deposited in a bank in Canada. And a proof of full payment of tuition for the applicant's first year of study. So you have to have uh, the tuition fees paid in full to the college in Canada where you got a receive where you received a letter of acceptance so next is obvious uh, there's a letter of acceptance that you received from the college and you have to have the most recent educational transcript and the next important one is you have to have the medical examination done upfront before you submit an application so if you are having all these six important documents you are eligible to apply under uh, the student direct stream also the key will be you, ha you have to ha be a resident of these following countries 
So another important factor for this stream as mentioned in this document is uh, regarding the family members. Family members of principal applicant who are applying under the STS are eligible for concurrent processing if they apply at the same time as the primary applicant. So if you are adding a family member as a dependent in the primary application, as per this document it says the processing will be the same time. So both uh, the applicant and the dependent will be getting a visa approved in 20 days so they can apply for work permit study permit temporary resident visa etc i would like to walk you through the uh, applications if you are planning to submit through sts arcc may be changing or updating the portals every now and then so you might be seeing a different portal but uh, the questionnaires or the submit uh, the documents at the end you might be seeing that it's a, that's the document checklist will be almost the same so let's start in google you are typing arcc login and you are clicking the first link that appears sign into your arcc secure account canada.ca so once you go in that page and if you scroll down you may see gc key login options and sign in partner you can go to the gc key uh, sign in option if you already have an account if you don't have an account created you can register for one you can watch my previous videos you can click up there in the link to see how you can do it uh, the steps are pretty straightforward you can do by yourselves so once you log in you can uh, the next page you can see is when you see scroll down to the bottom you can see start an applications you click apply to come to Canada so you may see uh, visitor visa study or work permit so we are planning to apply for sts student direct stream so you click there and it will take you to a questionnaire so you start answering those questions so i i will just show what i have answered i have kept what would you like to do in canada i kept study how long are you planning to stay in canada temporarily more than six months uh, for a demonstration i have selected country codes as india and uh, current resident of india do you have any family members in Canada as of now? Um, I don't have any for this case. So if you if your case is different and if you have somebody, you just create, uh, just select yes and give your date of birth. And you're not a lawful permanent resident of United States. You selected no. At any part of this questionnaire, if you want to pause, you can pause and you can view it. Have you been accepted designated learning institution? Yes, for apply to apply to through an SDS stream, you have to have a, a acceptance letter from a college in Canada. So you select yes. Have you ever visited or lived in any one of the designated countries for six consecutive months? Say if you are in India, yes, uh, you have lived there. India is on the list. You can click that question mark up there and see. Uh, if your country is there or not so I selected yes have you had a medical exam performed by RCC uh, so for the STS you have to have an upfront medical already performed so you click yes so it will ask you about the GIC before you up in, uh, submit a GIC uh, STS application you already have your GIC created in a Canadian bank so you have deposited at least $10,000 so you select yes and you have already paid your tuition fees after receiving the acceptance letter from the college in Canada you select yes and you all also have a valid IELTS where all your results of listening reading and writing and speaking of the IELTS test uh, a 6.0 or higher yes uh, you have for uh, if to meet the eligibility you have to have that so you create uh, select yes and you are planning to apply for yourselves and a spouse open work permit so you, uh, and here the question is is your marital what's your marital status you select married and which uh, province uh, of destination you are or what is the province of destination you select ontario so after applying the in uh, answering the initial primary questions uh, the eligible stream uh, opens up for you. It says study permit through student direct stream. So because you are in those seven countries and you have selected India, 
you're eligible for that you hit continue and uh, proceed uh, proceed with the questionnaire do you have a valid work permit uh, as of now you have not applied for any so you select no uh, are you an exchange student so pretty much everything is no in this page you can just go through it and if it's a different case for you you can select accordingly and are you accompanying a family member that has a status in Canada or recently uh, recently been approved to come to Canada so you don't have anybody who is having a status in Canada as of, uh, for this uh, example application so you select no have you been ever and rested or you select no do you want to submit an application for a family member yes you are you want to submit an application for your spouse you select yes what country does your family member live in so you both are living in the same country so you select India uh, and which uh, country is your passport so India uh, is your family member a permanent resident of the United States no what is your so these are the details of your family member and you select married family day of birth and, and why is your family member visiting Canada so uh, usually in most of the cases the family member will be getting an open work qualifying for an open work so most of them will be opting for that so if you have a different plan like studying or something you can select that for this example I'm gonna select work with an open work permit so I have selected that have a family member ever committed or arrested and you select no and have you a family member had a medical exam performed by RCC Yes, uh, you have an upfront IR, IRCC authorized medic panel physician medical already done. So you select S for a family member. In the last 10 years, has your family member given by uh, given either fingerprints, photo for an application to come to Canada? This uh, we are up just uh, two, a couple is planning to apply for a new one, so they have never given any biometrics before. So if your case is different, select accordingly. In this case, I select no and you will be paying all the fees you select s yes. do you have do you want to submit an application for another family member uh, you are just planning for you to both so you just select no if you have kids accompanying you so you can select yes and do the application accordingly are you giving someone access to your application no in past 10 years have you given your biometrics so you yourself don't have biometrics done so you select no because just these questions are answering these questions no they will charge you a fees extra fees because you have not done the biometrics before so if you have done a biometrics before it's valid for the next 10 years so you'll be paying all the fees uh, you'll be making the digital copy for the documents with the scanner yes you'll be paying with uh, the money with a card so once you hit next uh, you will be able to see uh, the review answer page here you can answer uh, you can verify all your answers given to the questionnaire every uh, section you can uh, change your answers and the application will be updated accordingly uh, based on your answers you altered you can verify if you have made any mistakes uh, if uh, what you have given uh, once you verified you can uh, go forward you can every time you can edit each part you can continue so continuing to the next page again so here you'll be able to see a document checklist so the document checklist what you require uh, for the sts application the primary uh, document this imm 1294 uh, made for a student permit so you just click here and you'll be able to download an application say and you pretty much fill that and upload it back at the same place so let's see what all things are required uh, recent education transcript probably the recent uh, highest degree you are having next is a proof of guaranteed investment certificate the GIC the investment that you have made that is at least ten thousand dollars that you have deposited in the Canadian bank which you already cre uh, given yes uh, you have done that in a, from through a bank and the proof of tuition payment that you have done to the Canadian college though it probably they want a f one full year of tuition paid proof of IELTS exam results you can apply it up uh, you can upload your score card here and your passport front and back pages and the letter of acceptance letter uh, received from the Canadian college for your admissions 
and use of family member representative for online applications marriage license or certificate like you these are because you selected you're bringing your dependent with you into Canada your digital photo proof of upfront medical exam that you have already done family information pretty much answering all the questions in that document IMM 5645 and application for temporary visa made out outside Canada probably this is for uh, this is uh, um, for the visa application visa counterfoil that you are uh, getting stamped on your passport and if you have to give any additional information like the statement of purpose usually people upload it here it depends if you want to say anything more to the officer you can do that and this is uh, for the family members the same uh, document uh, you have selected you have opted for a work permit for the family member based on your study permit application so uh, here is an application for a work permit made outside of canada i am um, 1295 so pretty much download it and complete it upload it back family information passport purpose of travel to be with the family members you can write a letter or whatever um, you can have to and your police certificates that uh, you generated from uh, the country proof of upfront medical exam and application for temporary you can just see this is pretty much straightforward and I aim a C because you have combined applications you are paying a fees of almost 575 Canadian dollars so that pretty much is once you upload all the necessary documents you will have uh, submit options or continue to next page where you can pay your fees so that's pretty much everything for an STS applications thank you so much for watching I was trying to uh share my thoughts to people who are trying to apply or come to canada as a family and rather than applying for an individual uh, student permit and later on trying and waiting for the spouse work permit you can try this option combine the application so that you get uh, processed in like 20 calendar days so that both of uh, both all the family can be here in one go thank you and have a nice one